C.H. Spurgeon was converted at 15 and many people came to know the Lord Jesus through him. Here are some stories about him. Hello children. Welcome to another episode of Spurgeon Stories for Children by Tony Hatta. Today's title is Conversion. And the Bible verse is from Isaiah chapter 45 verse 22. It says, Look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God and there is no other. I'm sure that you like the snow. You can make a snowman and throw a snowball and have a lot of fun. I want to tell you what happened to Spurgeon one very snowy morning. He was 15 years old and it was early January. During the Christmas holiday, he went to stay with his parents who were then living in Colchester in Essex. It was a Sunday morning and it was snowing hard. But because it was Sunday, he knew that he ought to go to church. So he set out on his own to go to a particular church. But it snowed and snowed and was getting deeper and deeper. In the end, he thought that he would never get to that church, or at least he would be very late. So he turned down a little street, which was called Artillery Street, and came to a small Methodist church. If you're ever in Colchester, you can still see this church, and you might be able to see inside where you will find a plaque put there to remind people of what happened to Spurgeon that snowy morning. Today, the church is an evangelical church where the gospel is preached. Spurgeon had never been in this church before, but he went inside. There were not many people there, perhaps 12 or 15. The preacher went into the pulpit and his text was, Isaiah chapter 43 verse 22 which says Look to me and be saved all you ends of the earth for I am God and there is no other. The preacher was a simple man and he put the message very simply. He said it ain't lifting your foot or your finger it is just look. Well a man needn't go to college to learn to look. You may be the biggest fool, and yet you can look. Jesus Christ says, look to me. Then the preacher seemed to notice Spurgeon sitting near the back under the gallery. He looked straight at Spurgeon and said, young man, you look very miserable and you will always be miserable. Miserable in life, miserable in death, if you don't obey my text. But if you obey now, this moment, you will be saved. Then the preacher shouted, Young man, look to Jesus Christ. Look, look, look. You have nothing to do but to look and live. And that is what Spurgeon did. He looked to Jesus. He trusted him. He gave himself to him. He saw Jesus as his own Savior and Lord. He was converted. He was forgiven. And he was saved. And he later said that between 10.30 when he entered that church and 12.30 when he was back home, what a change had taken place in him. Maybe you thought that Spurgeon was already a Christian because he had been brought up in a Christian home and had had the Christian influence of his grandparents and parents and had regularly gone to church and knew the Bible very well. But all those things don't make anyone a true Christian. It is only by turning from our sins and looking in faith to the Lord Jesus Christ that we become 
real Christians. Only then are we saved and converted. Let us pray. Our God in heaven, we do pray that you may help us to turn away from our sins and to look to Jesus so that we may be saved. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.